you know, um, the um, the immersive experience you had with the refugee youth and being able to be exposed to the full range of human emotion on a very intense yeah. basis, from extreme yeah. joy to sadness to trauma. Um, do you think having, obviously, incredible mind, you have an incredible mind, you've got lots of, uh, you know, uh, intellectual horsepower, combining that with your immersive emotional connection or your most, you know, the EQ and the IQ, do you think this had any impact on you as a product leader? In understanding. Wow, what a question. Yeah, because it's understanding like the technical, but the emotional side of the product. I think, yeah. I th hi, yes. I, I mean, and I don't know if it came from working with refugees, but I think you're right. I think the same thing that drove me to want to work with people in those circumstances yeah. is a, a will, like a, a proclivity towards wanting highly empathetic experiences. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's obviously completely different, but the same drive to want to work with people and understand them and help them in a refugee context is exactly the same, obviously not maybe as important to the world, but as wanting to work with customers and help them improve their work life yes. by using your yes. software. Like, our, our user communities build careers using our software. It yeah. is like if you are an expert in our company's product, you can build an entire career. And it is very sought after expertise because it's yes. a very specific skill set um, that's very important to an IT organization or a security organization. So I agree. I think you're absolutely right. I, I think I came with a high degree of customer empathy and also sales empathy. Yeah.